This video will cover the topic, restriction on a variable in the denominator, quadratic. In these problems, we will be asked to find values of the variable that make the expression undefined. A fraction is undefined when the denominator equals zero because we cannot divide a number by zero. We can determine what values of a variable make an expression undefined by setting the denominator equal to zero and solving for the variable. Let's take a look at an example v squared plus 2v minus 35 over v squared minus 1. We want to find what values of v make the expression undefined. We have the quadratic v squared minus 1 in the denominator of the expression, and since the expression is undefined when the denominator equals 0, we must find what values of v make v squared minus 1 equal 0. We can do this by setting v squared minus 1 equal to 0. We can factor that, right? You're right, we can factor the quadratic on the left to be v minus 1 times v plus 1, and this is still equal to 0. If you need a refresher on factoring, please review the topics regarding factoring a difference of squares and factoring a quadratic. We can now solve this by setting both quantities equal to 0. For the first equation, we can add 1 to both sides to get v by itself, and we'll get v equals 1. For the second equation, we'll subtract 1 from both sides and get v equals negative 1. Okay, so since these two values of v would make the denominator 0, the expression is undefined when v equals 1 and negative 1? That's right, and we can write our answer as v equals 1 comma negative 1. Why don't we take a look at another example? w minus 2 over w squared plus 5w minus 14. We want to find all the values of w for which the expression is undefined. Well, I remember that the expression is undefined when the denominator equals 0, so I think we should start by setting w squared plus 5w minus 14 equal to 0. That's a good place to start. Now we can factor the left side. I know that 7 and negative 2 will multiply to negative 14 and add to 5, so our factor should be w plus 7 and w minus 2. You're right. When we factor, we can rewrite the equality w squared plus 5w minus 14 equals 0 as w plus 7 times w minus 2 equals 0. Next, we can set each factor equal to 0. When we solve for w, we get w equals negative 7 and w equals 2. So since we have w equals negative 7 and w equals 2, we can write our answer even shorter as w equals negative 7 comma 2, right? Exactly. Alright, so when we are given a fraction expression and asked to find values for the variable that make the expression undefined, we have to determine restrictions on the denominator by sending the denominator equal to 0 and solving for the variable? That's right. 